Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the house of David. Salutations to you, brothers, throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching the truth in righteousness and sincerity. To you, Israelite foreigners, come back home to the truth. To those that passed on serving the Lord, the dead in Yahweh Shai shall arise first. All right, uh, I want to do this. Uh, I wish I had a different way to word my beginning of my videos, but I want to do this video because uh, I want to address the nation, you know, address brothers, you know, uh, and I want to tell y'all, man, we ain't got all this time to be beefing and shit and going through problems and, 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 you know, disliking each other, hating each other because we really, uh, I, I, I refuse to believe that all the brothers that claim they hate each other and claim that they're gonna celebrate when each other dies I, I don't believe that shit i didn't celebrate when comfy died and that his his entire movement was my arch enemy at one point those guys were really coming against us um you know uh life is short man or or let's say this nobody plans hardly hardly anybody plans to know when the last day is, man. When when they when their last day on earth is, and what happens is when you're beefing with each other. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you an example, right? Bon Lawyer, everybody that knows Bon Lawyer, you know, rest in peace. You know, I know a brother that we used to all camp together. Me, him, Bon Lawyer, uh, Basadar. It was a whole bunch of us, and his one brother. When Bon Lawyer died, he had been at beef, you know, he had been having beef with Bon Lawyer. Basically, at the time when Bon Lawyer died, Bon Lawyer died with this brother and him having uh, strife. And that brother, man, the, the pain that that brother went through, bro, you couldn't talk to him and he wasn't, he didn't fall out crying. Because Bonloy was originally his teacher. But what happens is when somebody dies, you forget. Like, yo, fuck all that other shit. All everything else is stupid. All the shit that we beefing about is stupid. You know, we, we have to treat each other like, yo, you you might be, this might be the last time you see me, bro. This might be the last a lot of times, man, a lot, a lot of bro, I know the Lord protects us. But like I said, you know. You got Bon Lawyer passed away. You know, you have the Comfy that passed away, even though I don't, you know, I didn't fuck with him at the time of death, but his followers were very, uh, you know, loved him, obviously. You know, you had a uh, Yai Quab. You know, you had a lot of, a lot of people that passed away in this truth, man. And if you, if you allow a brother to die without you, you know, piecing it up with him. And this is somebody that you were fond of at one point that might haunt you till we get in the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? It's really, and, and, and honestly, man, every time I hear why brothers be beefing and shit, it's not life or death. It's not. It's, it's not as as terrible as brothers make it sound. Brothers make all these situations sound like, oh my gosh, you, you're the biggest backstabber, or, or you, you you destroyed my life. Like no, bro. Like a lot of times things had to be done in the grand scheme of things. When you look at the bigger picture, you know, even if they were done the wrong way, even if the wrong thing was done, at the end of the day, you know, when 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 somebody's about to die or when you think somebody, you know, like, like, yo, we don't know how long we got on this earth, man. We really don't know how long we got on this earth. Do you really want me to pass away? You know, I could get shot, stabbed, something could happen to me. You know what I'm saying? You want me to die without us working out our issues because you think that we have forever we don't have forever to work out these issues man it's 
So we gotta drop these goddamn stupid ass beefs that we got amongst each other. As Israelites, man, I'm telling you. It's, it's nothing like never getting to, to, to say Salakia. You know, never getting to apologize. Never getting to be, you know, for all you know, maybe if I had a last chance to see you, I would I would apologize. You know what I'm saying? You know, and then you got brothers that make it hard for brothers to apologize. You got brothers that will apologize to you, but no, you don't want to hear that shit. You know, because that's how we are again. Like it's like, bro, don't the scriptures tell you to forgive? I know that Christians are, are are what they are. They're evil and all that. But listen, they preach that forgiveness thing because it's it's in the Bible. It's in the scriptures, man. We have to forgive. We can't, we can't have hard hearts against one another, man. We have to love one another. Especially because you don't know when the last time. You might, yo, you might really fucking be the next brother that's sitting there crying because, oh, the brother passed away and I didn't get to... I didn't get to resolve my, my problems with him. You know what I'm saying? And then when you look at the problem, it's some shit that you should have just fucking dropped that shit. Some shit ain't even worth talking about. Fuck it. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, but that's it. That's all I want to say, man. But, you know, just please, Akim, you know what I'm saying? Be better brothers to one another. You know, stop holding grudges and, and fighting and... and all that shit. I mean, listen, if somebody wrong, they wrong. You let them have it, you let them know. You know, but a lot of times you're dealing with brothers that ain't really foul. They just fuck up. They just make mistakes. Or they just do shit because they're in the flesh. And you have to understand them. You know, a lot of y'all would do the same thing if y'all was in their shoes. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm going to say Shalom. Love y'all, man.